Hello everybody, I'm Dogashi and today I'm back with another episode. Surprise! I'm back. And this time it's gonna be Night Cooling Friendship is like season 6 episode 22 BBOV Alias Pony Point of View. Hmm. What can it be? It can be a lot of things. And who can it be about? Well, it can be about a pen and the pony and uh, Applejack. No, <laughs> I I have no idea. It's a uh, who is not a pony and who has to be seeing something from a pony point of view. It can be Spike. It can be the Changeling, uh, Trex. It can be other dragons or griffins, but obviously it's gonna be some other kind of creature who wants to see the pony point of view of the things, and it's different from what they think or what they see. I don't know. Let's just simply start. And sorry about that. And that was. So let's just simply start in 3, 2, 1, now. Yes, we can see Twilight is faster than Spike. <laughs> wow! So... Maybe the rest of us not going was for the best anyway. I know the three of them were really looking forward to getting out of their element. Okay. Getting out of their element? I think they all just wanted to try something new. Huh. I, I guess a boat trip qualifies as that. Don't think getting out of your element is so good. <laughs> and I'll miss some of the details. Just to be safe, I may need you to take notes. Uh, right. Yeah, Spike has to take the details. Why not? Oh wow, you are really out of your element, right? <laughs> so, how was the trip? Um, what? Oh. Again, the driver? What? Even well, Binky? At least you don't have to worry about them talking over each other. Uh, uh, I'm bamboozled. Pinky is mad. I I can understand. Rarity and Applejack being mad at each other because they are kind of rivals and opposing elements. <laughs> we can say that. But Pinkie Pie? So something serious happened. Something too serious. They were party poopers. <laughs> Once Rarity, Applejack, and Pinkie Pie have uh, T set out, for I'm five. Sure every pony will feel better. They won't come. Come on in, every pony. Gummy opalescent um, and Winona. This is a surprise. With three filters, okay. Pie, Rarity, I usually use two filters in my tea. And no one came. Sorry, darling, but I must decline the invitation to your soiree. Well, I'm sure it will be nope. resplendent. They all have letters. And I guess Gummy has Rarity. it in your mouth. Not coming? Uh, so I polished my scales for nothing. Uh, wow. Sorry I can't make it, but I'm still a mite upset about everything that happened on the boat. Applejack. Uh. <laughs> Sorry I can't make the tea party today, but there's a small problem with the guest list. Plus I'm right in the middle of a very important cupcake. Thank you. What happened to the boat? Come on, Spike. Oh. And since our friends won't come here and tell us what happened, we'll just have to go to them. Right behind you. Cupcake? But at least we can see Winona again. <laughs> Spike. But my mane wasn't made to support marine life. 
Oh no! Rarity has scrubs! Yes, I agree. Just another innocent casualty of that disastrous boat trip. About that, Spike and I were wondering what happened out there. Please, darling. I don't know if I'll ever be able to discuss it. Could you could tell us? us? If it's too difficult to talk about, we completely understand. <coughs> well, since you dragged it out of me, it all started at the docks. I knew. Oh, I see. They will have different things. Ever. And uh, they misunderstood each other. With an elegant cruise. <laughs> I had brought a small bag with just a few key essentials. All right, ponies, prepare yourselves for luxury on the high seas. Okay. Fun. That's a nice apple cruise. The sea air carries a portent for trouble this day. Tis a treacherous and perilous journey that lies ahead of us. We sail to adventure. <laughs> I have no idea what you just said, but your wardrobe is delightfully seaworthy. Despite Applejack's colorful seafarer attitude, I was still determined to get my friends out of their element by providing them with all the refinements of a luxury. She complimented I your outfit. Sure to bring all the most delectable nipples for them to enjoy. <laughs> That's not. Let's try one of these cucumber sandwiches. Dig in then. And it's food, but. Get those off me ship. Okay. Come on, try it. Sorry, I had no idea you had such distaste for cucumbers. Yar, har, 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 hardy, har, har, har. Oh, wow. Sound like Applejack. Huh. Well, hold on, because it gets even worse. No. Nope. Try to lie. <laughs> no, he doesn't. Want to give it a whack, Rarity? Oh, darling, of course. I'll be charting a course to the very heart of that maelstrom. Oh. Uh, hmm. uh, Applejack, just a thought, but maybe we should steer the ship toward calmer waters. I think it's in the blood that I'm playing. No. Perhaps if I take a quick look see if that map is going, I could find us a more cruise friendly map. And they will sunk the ship. Clearly, Pinkie Pie had caught Applejack's same madness. Is that all you've got? <laughs> no, she just. She was just having fun. Then what happened? Oh, the boat sank, obviously. So, Applejack got some sort of sea madness and caused the boat to capsize? <laughs> so, she has no problems with Pinky. She has problems with AJ. They needed to get out of their elements. That is how Applejack begged me. So, you were stuck out in the middle of the ocean? How in Equestria did you get back? <sighs> Spike, darling, you'll have to forgive me. I'm far too emotionally drained to discuss the matter any further. Rarity. I don't suppose there's any chance we might be uh, exaggerating things just a little. Well, I can assure you that is exactly <gasps> oh, what God. happened. And if you don't believe me, you can ask <laughs> Pinkie Pie. I'm quite certain her story will be just the same. Just a little, the drama ice cream. So that's what Rarity said happened on the boat, huh? We thought there was a chance she might have. No, her story <laughs> will be against Rarity. Did Applejack really capsize the boat? Of course not! That's just silly! There's no way Applejack could have sank the boat! I knew it! That's a relief. Because Rarity did! What? It all started on the 
ducks. I knew Rarity and Applejack wanted to get out of their element, so I figured I'd throw them the funnest, silliest boat party ever. But I guess Rarity had... Everyone starts on the dust. I thought I overpacked until I saw Rarity and her team of poor okay. ponies. Because she brought other food. Uh, what? Batten down the hatches, y'all, because this here's going to be a boat ride of adventure. Yeah, I can live with that. Okay. Huh, they just keep coming. Now you can't throw a silly boat party without snacks. Uh, that so everything is healthy stuff. Simply, well, simple. But they're obviously unfit for a luxury cruise. Now, my cucumber sandwiches on the other hook. Try one, and then you'll understand. Ooh, okay. That's why you were measuring them. Hurry! Cucumber sandwiches are sold ten seconds ago. Wait, wait, wait. Doesn't sound like rarity. What? That's not how it happened. Like her, she sounds. I thought I'd lighten the mood with some super fun party boat game. But rarity was a nope. real wet blanket. It's pinata time! Wanna give it a whack, rarity? <laughs> oh, you were serious. Well, that's adorable. Okay. I'll give it a go. Yes. That's how the thing got on her eye. Okay. So AJ really had a map. And that's why the boat sinking was all Rarity's fault. No, say that to the Titanic. I mean, we trust you, of course, but it's also extraordinary. Oh, it's extraordinary, all right. But that's exactly what happened. In fact, the only thing I might have gotten wrong was that there was even more porta ponies. But just to be safe, you should talk to Applejack. Mm. She'll know exactly how many porta ponies there were. Okay, but if the boat sank, how did you all get rescued? Ah, that's easy. We just. <laughs> that's it. And AJ is angry at Good Pinkie idea. Pie. She'll straighten this out. I just really, really want to know how they made it back. <gasps> but yeah, that'd be great too. Oh no. That's the second Hold cake you, you have burnt. Pinkie says it's Rarity's fault, and Rarity says I sank the boat? Well, that's plum crazy. If you two really want to know what happened, I'll tell you. Y'all know how Pinkie Pie and Rarity wanted to get out of their element? Well, I brought a treasure map to give them a rip roaring sea fear and adventure. But they had other... And you are honest. La la la! Prepare yourself for the most luxurious boat outing that ever outed a boat. <laughs> and more fun than you can shake a stick at. Because I brought a stick. All right, ladies. But just okay. your wait till you see the high seas adventure I've got planned. Yep, that's... Too crazy, even for Pinkie Pie. Unfortunately, they seem less interested in a treasure hunting adventure and more interested in snacks. Oh, darling, that food isn't fit for a pony of proper breeding, darling, and refinement. 
Jasmine, darling. Now my cucumber sandwich is on the other hook. Oh, yes? Bet you I can fit them all in my mouth. Uh, Pinky, darling, please. <laughs> darling. <laughs> Do my that things. <laughs> okay, I can see that happening. <coughs> Do you want to say it or should I? I'll go. That sure doesn't sound like Rarity or Pinkie Pie. Oh, it gets a sight worse than that. It's P W T Pinkie Whacking Time. Oh, darling, <laughs> whacking is a base pastime for colonists. <coughs> Doesn't interest me in the least. Okay. So I did it say something like that. That's why you were checking the map. Okay, they are all faulted here. <laughs> But this was not 100% honest. each other. I don't know how we're going to get them to talk again. Neither do I, Spike. Neither do I. Hmm. <laughs> There's got to be some way to fix this. If Applejack, Pinkie Pie and Rarity Uh, memory spell, please. We could forget what good friends they really are. You can cost it, it. and All of their stories are so Someone else can cost it too. Never gonna figure out what really happened. Their stories were different, mm. but they also had a lot in common. I guess. Not exactly. That's about it. You have to put Not the pieces quite. together. Yes, the piñata. No. Not only do I think I know how the boat sank. I have a pretty good idea how to get Rarity, Applejack, and Pinkie Pie back together. I hope this plan of yours works. <clears throat> okay. Did you go and buy sandwiches? <laughs> oh no. What's the emergency? It's a recreation. I just didn't know how else to get the three of you here together. <gasps> it really is a friendship emergency. Yours. Those faces. Oh, there's no emergency. I'm just waiting for an apology. An apology? What? Why would you it's yours. To apologize when it was Rarity's fault? What are you talking about? Applejack clearly caused the boat to sink. She stranded us in the middle of the ocean. Ugh. Will somebody please tell me how you made it back? Nope. Well, maybe it wasn't the middle of the ocean. <sighs> Even so, I don't appreciate being hornswoggled into coming oh. back here. On that, at least we agree. Yeah! I know you each have a different perspective <laughs> on how the boat capsized and blame <laughs> each other. But if you come on the boat with me, I'll show you what really happened. You didn't even well, leave the door. I have any doubts, but it will feel good for every pony to see exactly whose fault it was. I think we all know which one okay. is about to be proven right. We sure do. Like I said, you forgot to untie works. the boat and you were dropped into water. <laughs> Whatever you're looking for, I hope you find it soon. Don't worry, Spike. I've got it all under control. 
While all of your stories seem very different, they all had something in common. Cucumber sandwiches. And what the hell does that have to do with anything? And why would you waste a perfectly good Oh, you cucumber? were finding you also searching for the cucumber sandwich. And the swell. Cucumber just happens to be the favorite food of the trihorned bunyip. And bubbles uh, followed by a oh. swell is what happens when they swim up to the shallows from deep water. So we attracted a trihorn. What? Call it? With cucumber sandwiches. Sounds like a stretch. Hello, Bunyip, sir. <laughs> so who is uh, not really. Bunyip, who's very sorry he accidentally knocked over your boat, right? Uh, what? It's a sea dog. Bunyan. All right. Even if our friend the Bunyip is responsible for sinking the boat, that still doesn't excuse a certain pony's behavior. Nope. Hey, how about you and Pinkie Pie? <laughs> what? No, me? No. I think I can explain that too. Each one of you spent so much time trying to come up with the perfect way to get the others out of their element that you didn't notice your friends were doing the same thing. Wait a minute. You bought <laughs> all those games and things for us? Of course. I figured the boat trip was the perfect time to do things that were silly and pointless. Yep. And I was just trying to give the two of you the elegant cruise I thought yes. you deserved. <laughs> and I just wanted to give you two a high seas adventure, since that'd be something new and different for y'all. Oh! That is so sweet. You must have gone through so much trouble. Well, not half as much trouble as you did making all that hmm. fancy food. Oh! <laughs> I guess this just teaches us that even longtime friends need to work Not in really. communication. Well, there's something I'd like to communicate to you all right now. You girls are the best friends a pony could ever have. Oh, let's never fight again. Yep. You got it. All right, you big softy. Bring it in. Come on, bunny sir. Hmm. <laughs> and now you sang. One thing's for sure, Spike. There's nothing like a luxurious adventure. You found the to get you treasure. It is really a treasure <laughs> for ice cream. Now that was an apology ice cream. <laughs> okay. It was a good episode. I, I can tell it. It was a really good episode. Even though, again, each other uh, lesson we already learned. It seems it's uh, the theme of this season. I We will throw you the same shit over and over in this season. <laughs> But uh, in different kinds. But it it was okay. Uh, I was wrong about my prediction. <laughs> but Applejack was in it. <laughs> and yeah, it was kind of like uh, the interview. Everyone told their own stories, uh, their own different kind of stories. But this time, they were not matching. They all over exaggerated. I can I kinda like the reality story kind of Applejack. <laughs> it was it was really funny. I <laughs> we are really going into the pirate team sailing. You know pirates are real <laughs> And the Treasure was real too, so hmm. Where did AJ get that treasure map? I'm pretty sure that she is not the one who buried that treasure. She is not that rich. She has well, I I guess she is rich, not as rich as reality, obviously, but uh, 
she has a she and her family has a whole acres which uh, feeds Ponyville and I'm pretty sure they no we know that uh, they sell to other ponies too the famous apple pie we saw that before that they go through the forest and sell it to other villages basically but this was not about Applejack not just about Applejack it was about everyone here every pony except Fluttershy who would love to come here to meet the trihorn what you call it I already forgot its name let's just Review what was your name? Let's have a fight again. I still don't understand what she said. The Trihorn Bunyat or something like that. <laughs> there is no way I would ever learn how to say that thing in name. It's a sea dog. That's all. The Trihorn Sea Dog. <laughs> Fluttershy would love to meet. Or maybe Fluttershy is the reason Twilight knows about this. Little puppy here. <laughs> and Spike didn't have a good time. He was handling the writing all the time. And Twilight did not give him any time of break. Well, that's kind of how it happens. They all had some tools, but they were all lying. Even Applejack. <laughs> White lie is a lie as well. And over exaggerating things again lie. Even though she is honest. <laughs> we, we always come back to this. Because Applejack never lie. <laughs> Sorry again for the beginning and thank you for watching. I hope you liked my reaction. I hope you liked this episode and see you next time. I don't know where, when, but it's gonna be next time, next time, next time. Bye.